What's up you guys, it's Jose Zuniga from Teaching Men's Fashion and for today I have a complete sweater guide just for guys. I want to go over about four different types of sweaters, how you can incorporate them in your wardrobe, how can you, you can easily wear them, how to layer them, all of that in this video. So first let's start with the classic and that's the basic pullover, the sweater that I've been telling you that you need to get. This is a sweater that you're going to be wearing for seasons to come. Now these come in a lot of different colors and prints and stripes and shades, whatever it is. But I suggest that if you're starting to build it out, stick to the basics like your gray, your navy, and your black. So this one that you see here is from Graham Frank and it has a very luxurious cotton slash cashmere blend. So this is built to last and it has a very soft to the touch feel. Now this is what you want in your basic sweaters because you're going to have these for the long haul. I'm going to have this specific one linked down below and I also got you guys a discount code so you don't have to pay full retail for it. Now why I like this sweater is because it can be worn just by itself with nothing, no layering. You could even put it on with shorts for those really crisp fall days. However, it's also a great layering piece. You can use it as an outer layer piece and put it on top of a dress shirt like this or you could use it as a middle layer piece and put it on a sports jacket on top of it. So it's the perfect versatile piece for fall and winter. Now this next sweater that we have here is the Henley sweater. Now this one's a little bit outside the box and not as classic as the previous sweater. However, it is as versatile as the previous sweater. The only difference is that it has that three button Henley feature that allows you to unbutton your, your sweater and show some man cleavage if you wish to do so. So the good thing about that is that it allows you to more easily layer on top of a dress shirt if that's what you choose to do so. But if you don't, you can wear it by itself just like a pullover sweater with nothing else and unbutton some buttons. And that's usually for those days that it's not super cold and you just need something to keep you sort of warm. So this one as well is a cotton slash cashmere blend and these are usually the best fabrics for sweaters, cotton, cashmere and merino wool tend to be some of the best for that longevity that you're looking for in those basics sweater. Like I said, this one's great when you're putting it on, you wanna show some man cleavage, you're feeling a little sexy, you unbutton all three buttons and you're good to go. Now let's kick it back all the way to the classics and here we have the long sleeve polo sweater. Think of this as the polo shirt for fall and winter. The only difference is that the sleeves are longer and it's a thicker fabric that will keep you warm. Now if you ask me, this is a great sweater to pair with some wool trousers and you can even tuck it in for a very smart casual look. You automatically look like you're like 20 IQ points smarter. The great thing about this sweater is that it's a standalone piece. So it's not a layering piece so there's not a lot of rocket science with it. Which means you can pair it with some jeans or pair it with some chinos and wear that by itself. You really shouldn't be layering a dress shirt under it. You really shouldn't be putting something on top of it because you kind of just lose it underneath and the collar isn't as strong that it will be standing up. So a polo shirt sweater should be is a standalone piece that you should be wearing by itself and shouldn't really be layered. And now the final segment that we're going to be talking about, of course I couldn't skip it, is the cardigan. But in the cardigan there are two sections. First, we have the thin cardigan. This is the most common one and it's the one that can be layered in different areas of your layering. So this isn't a standalone piece, this is a layering piece. So the thin cardigan, you can wear it as an outer layer piece, which that means you can put it on top of a t-shirt for the most casual look. You can put it as an outer layer piece on top of a dress shirt for a little bit more of a dressed up look, smart casual look. Or you can wear it as a middle layering piece on top of a dress shirt and throw on a sport coat over it for the most dressed up look. But on the other hand, we have my favorite type of cardigan and that's the thicker shawl neck cardigan. Now this type of cardigan should be only used as an outer layering piece and can be you really can't throw anything else on top of it because you just lose the elegant nature of the cardigan. So you can wear it on top of a t-shirt like you see me now or you could throw it on top of a dress shirt and a tie for a more dapper look. Now this cardigan, you've seen it on a lot of style icons. You've seen it on Daniel Craig and Marlon Brando and even Steve McQueen. So if it's good for them, you know it's a stylish piece that'll be good for you. All right guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and that clarified some of these sweater styles for you and showed you just a couple examples of how you can implement them in your wardrobe. If you like any of these or don't have some of these in your wardrobe yet, 
Go ahead and check out the description below. I'm gonna have the links to Grand Frank sweaters link down below in the order that I talked about them. And like I said, I got you guys a sweet discount code so you don't have to pay full retail. So that's it for me today. See you next time.